Oh my gosh. Hey you guys, it's Danny. So, I have decided that I want to do a new little series called Blind Tarot. <laughs> I have uh, recently been gifted and sometimes I get sent um, tarot decks that I've never heard of and never seen before and so some of these are very indie some of these maybe it's just new to me that I've never seen um, and so I want to share these decks that I've never heard of and never seen with you guys as I'm opening and as I am looking through the decks. So today I I got this deck in and I saw the, you know, tattoo of the tarot age. I was like, oh, this is really cool. 2012, I never even heard of this tarot, right? And so I was like, oh, I'm really interested. So I literally opened the cellophane and I saw this fool and I said, no, no we need to open this together <laughs> so that is what we're doing and i have quite a few other decks that um that fit the bill so i am going to be throwing in these blind tarots along with my other walkthroughs um occasionally i'm going to try to film them as i do my very first reactions to them um which are a little bit different than some of my regular walkthroughs. My unboxings, sure, but most of my walkthroughs, I've used the deck before. This is, not only have I never gone through the deck before, but I've never seen it ever. So, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm not going to like it. it. We're going in this together blind. And so, thanks to A, we are going to be starting this little blind tarot. So, let's get going. So... Again, this first one is called Tarot of the Tattoo Age. I mean, I like the tattoos, right? Um, it was published in Utah uh, in 2012 by Flaco Productions, I'm assuming. Two versions of The Fool, 79 cards, 77 world-renowned tattoo artists. Oh, I wonder if this is a... Um, if, so this must be a collab deck, right? Okay, we're going to save the little white book for last unless we decide to pop in and out of something. Forgive the hangnail llama band-aid. Let me make sure that we're in and let's get close. because. Okay, so <laughs> as I moved in, I feel like I should say gore warning. So maybe skip ahead, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be any other kind of gore warning, so... Just because of the very first one, I'm just going to put that there. If you're squeamish, maybe skip ahead and see how it goes. <laughs> okay. So we have our fool. Like, what? <laughs> so we have butterflies. We have the white flower. This fool, though, is being mauled by wolves. As he is trying to kind of leap forward off of this cliff there is a um it's one of those german cups it looks like right i don't i don't know the name of it exactly so let's see oh this is our other fool two fools this fool is much cuter <laughs> these are the backs so they're not reversible these are the backs here and they're tattoo machines here so you can see they are, the lamination has them sounding a little sticky, but this fool does not have all the gore in it. So maybe I should have started with that one, but that's not how it came. I saw this one and I was like, whoa, we're about to get into some serious stuff. The magician, he looks sort of like gangster-esque, but he is pointing down of this coming up he's got whiskey or poison or maybe his poison okay the high priestess oh my gosh how fun is 
she. So we're gonna peel these off. It's not, it doesn't look like it's messing up anything. It's just, it is rather loud. It looks like they're shiny. Not bad cardstock though. The Empress. The Emperor, that's what was on the main box here. Looks like we still have, let's see, they delve into an esoteric, into the esoteric for this unique interpretation of the tarot. So they did their homework, at least some of them did. Oh, we're okay. We've got some black and white artists as well. We have the Hierophant. These Egyptian eyes here. Cloaked figure, some ox on the ground. Very high priestess imagery on there as well, though. With the pillars on the sides here. Uh-oh. See, now it looks like we're starting to get some bobos here. And I'm trying to be very cautious. Oh, I love the lovers. I love the lovers. This is really cute. Very traditional style. With these tattooed figures. Careful. And now this was wrapped in cellophane. I just cut the cellophane off. <laughs> we have this chariot. I love the face. Look at the face. <laughs> okay, we have strength. Oh. Yeah, it looks like we have a little bit of. Yeah, you see. This appears to be because of the lamination, though. Oh, look at this hermit. Oh, it's a hermit crab up in his face. <laughs> I do love the colors of this, you guys. The Wheel of Fortune. This is very much like, uh, it reminds me of like Bonefire and the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot, this image. I think it's like the bold colors and flames. Justice. Ooh, I'm kind of, I'm trying to go as slowly as I can. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Oh, we have the panther for the hanged man. And we have this like neo-traditional style going on here. Maybe traditional style because there is only black and yellow and red. Sorry, little gnats. I came in from outside and I had the door open, so shame on me. Death on this white horse. That almost looks ghostly when you look at it. Very interesting. I love these kind of billowing clouds in the background. Oh my. This temperance is gorgeous. Look at these. This almost black water dripping. A very dark take on temperance. The devil. <laughs> Got the claw feet as well. <gasps> Look at this tower. Oh, I dig that. <gasps> as funny as it is. Oh, my skin is so dry. I don't know if you can see. My artist did the same thing with the eyes and the flames. <gasps> the star. Again, we have sadness here. But it's... I don't know, I really like this. We have like the um, sparrows, the cobra, the rose in this kind of traditional style. The moon. I'm trying to see. I, I have a glare <laughs> and I'm a little short to look in the viewfinder. So I'm like kind of like going all around trying to see this. So that's why I'm kind of like picking it up as well. So we have the crawfish, we have a river that runs through the back here. 
we have some buildings in the background on one side and then these two almost like werewolf type creatures and this manly moon we have a, a man in the moon the sun which it looks like we almost have a woman in the sun judgment very rws i wonder if the whole thing is going to be like rws imagery or if it was just like whatever like this is your card do your thing the world we have an up close world here with the symbols Right, Ace of Wands. Oh my god. Oh, I really like this. The snail. And we have growth. Not only new growth. We have this like crystal wand kind of aspect. And we have, like, I like to think of mushrooms as kind of like decaying growth. Like growth from things that are kind of left behind. So I really like this whole image. And I mean, I just really like mushrooms and snails. They're just adorable. So we have the two of wands. Kind of looking off to the distance. Three of wands. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. We have that moon in the background. So it does hint to RWS. Four of wands. We have a drunken party. Looks like. Don't know if I care for this one as much. Five of Wands. We have our Victory and our Six of Wands. Ooh, slower. Oh, we have the Seven of Wands. This is almost that like Japanese style. If I'm if I'm misnaming the styles, please forgive me. I'm not I'm not an expert, but we have our monkey here, a monkey man kind of in his position. Then we have the 8 of wands, very pip-like. Oh, this 9 of wands, isn't that beautiful? Very headdress-ish. Oh, this 10 of wands. Tell that's a hard load to carry after he's been kind of beaten and bruised. But it looks like this kind of dragon figure wrapping around him. I don't know much about um, this kind of culture, like what things would represent. But if I look at it and the little that I do know, it's like I'm wondering if that's sort of helping or hindering like is this giving him strength or is it weakening him this dragon i'd like to hear your thoughts on that because again i don't know much about this style so that's interesting to me page of wands we have the the fire associations all around here the salamanders very rws esque oh this too wow our knight of wands just a different interpretation of that oh this queen oh i love this oh we have the sunflower in the background that's really cool if you can tell i really enjoyed this style this kind of traditional or neo-traditional style this is cool though wow this king of wands check out this kind of like void in this throne i guess we have like a lion's tail coming out of the back this almost looks like uh almost like a surreal salamander one of those the the lizards you know huge one we have a volcano in the back and then this here this almost looks like a tudor rose with a symbol here it looks like wings and like three hmm. 
do we have any explanations? It doesn't seem like we would. I don't think we will. No. Just very basic. Very basic keywords. God, that's really interesting to me. If you guys know what this is referring to, or you recognize any of this imagery, let me know down below. Okay, now to the cup suit. Ace, oh, look at this. Oh my God, I love this type of art. Oh, this is really cool. This is like something I would hang on my wall. <laughs> I really love the look of this. We have both of the flaming hearts here as well. The connecting of cups. And it's very, like, I almost get like Frida Kahlo vibes in the sense that like the, the arteries that come through look like they go through each other. Like in her picture, the two Fridas. That's what that reminds me of. The Three of Cups. I mean, we sure are partying in these martini glasses. But these baby faces. And this spider is like... Yeah, I don't know if that's a thing that I like. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Okay. Then we have the Four of Cups. Looks like somebody drank something that they maybe shouldn't have. <laughs> and again, we have this dragon coming out of the clouds with another cup. But these, like, there's a four here, a four here. Four lines here. It's like different fours. I don't know what's on these cups. Five of Cups here. The six. Okay. Oh, the seven. I like this one. So we have a main one in the center. This almost feels like heart's desire, right? Like in that kind of like, is this open opportunities? Are these illusions? Like, is it just being shown what your heart desires? Or is this something that you really should go after? I like this for sure. Let's see, this Eight of Cups. She definitely seems to be walking away from these cups that are like all in their place. This seems like walking away from stability to me, which is very interesting. Uh, Cause you can really say that in a regular, I'm gonna, a regular Eight of Cups because they are usually stacked and stable, right? So I like that. This is cute, this Nine of Cups. Kind of has all the lanterns around him. Very caricature-esque. Oh, I like this. So I will say, just hot take. Um, there are some images that I really like and there are some that are definitely not for me, right off the bat. Uh, and I, I often feel that way when it comes to collaborative decks. I think you either love them or you hate them. Um, for me, I'm like, oh, I really love some, uh, some cards and I really don't like others. I think it's kind of luck of the draw. When you find something, now this, it all does seem cohesive in the idea of, you know, tattoo, right? So, it's my just as I'm going, my, my thoughts here. It's taking longer than I thought it would, but I just don't want to go too fast with this. Whoa. What? Oh, no. Uh-oh. So our emperor got printed over our page of cups in this one. Uh-oh. Well, from what it looks like, from what it looks like, I mean, I can see the emperor. There appear to be waves, though, kind of coming through and up. And there is, it looks to be 
I'm trying to remember what the... No, the Emperor's hands are out. Okay, so the page's hands seem to be in the center, holding a cup with the fish. So it does seem... It looks like some lotus flowers here. <gasps> what a shame. Oh, that's a bummer. Does anyone else have this card? Like, have this deck? And do, they ha do you guys have the page of cups correct? If so, let me know. I would love to post it um, for everyone. Oh, the Knight of Cups. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. See, I wish there was an artist that did just... Like, if this artist did a whole deck, I think that would be amazing. Not that there isn't, you know, good in all the stuff. But, like, my style, like, my tattoo style, this is it. This is it for sure. The Queen of Cups. This one's kind of computer. Looks like kind of computer or digitally. I say computer. <laughs> Dating myself like, I'm from the 90s. Um, it's like very digitally animated. And I usually look for a, a Queen of Cups. I will say it's not my favorite. Um... Mostly because she looks very gray, which makes me feel like she's, I don't know, she looks ill. And it's like she's pouring out, it's like it gives a toxic sludge feel, although it is the universe. It looks like she is kind of spilling out the universe. I like this, the symbols in here. We have the shells, the sun and moon, kind of creating this balance. Um... And she is kind of spilling out that universe, almost like she is, she does know, like she has a knowing about her. This kind of strange sea horse, question mark, um, has a cross symbol, unless that is some sort of constellation that I'm missing. Thoughts? Okay, oh. King of Cups. He's super metal. With his face tattoos. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel like I would normally think about a uh, King of Coins. I mean, a uh, Coins. King of Cups energy. He doesn't look as approachable as I feel like most King of Cups are they're very much approachable and i just don't find him very approachable just my thoughts ace of swords we have this blue is it a god i'm not familiar i recognize the blue color from gods and goddesses like kali and things of that nature but this almost looks like um a cross between that and i say that because there is a lotus that they're sitting upon but then I've also seen, like, demon faces or demon masks done that way, but they're mostly red. So, again, I would love to know. All this fiery energy in the swords, though. Oh, I like this. This two of swords. This kind of vintage style. Oh, another beautiful one. Three of swords. I dig this. This kind of cracked bell is interesting. You know, that also makes me think about, um, oh, crap. I read about it, like, two days ago, too, and I can't think of the word, but it's, it's, it's like doing this with your pottery. There's a word for it. Y'all help me out. I did it as well. When you crack it, you put it back together, and then you either gold leaf or, um, it kind of, um accentuate the crack it like makes it more special that's kind of what this reminds me of a little bit the idea of the three of swords with a cracked bell four of swords this is very obscured i'm gonna pull this out of the frame so i can try to see what this is this looks like hmm this almost looks like veining Some sort of veining that you would get, like, maybe when you come up close in, like, a microscope. Or, like, 
topographical veining. You know what I mean? Can y'all see that? I know it's kind of hard. You see right there? It's very interesting, this Four of Swords. Five of Swords. These guys, yo. <laughs> very surreal look to it, but it has the same clouds in the background. And this looks kind of like the guy from the RWS card. But we have these little, like, slinking worms kind of going back into their holes. Ugh, another traditional style Six of Swords. I love this. So much. Oh, my. Seven of Swords. This little devil here. This reminds me of a... Oh, my God. Is it a cartoon? Almost like, um, oh gosh, is it, um, oh, I was going to say Angela Anaconda, but those have people faces. They're just gray. Um, oh damn. If I remember, like I'm telling you, like I recognize this style of face from something and I cannot, oh, I remember, I remember James and the Giant Peach. Have you guys seen the stop animation, James and the Giant Peach? He looks like he's got that structure of the centipede. I remembered. Boom. I did that. <laughs> oh my, this Eight of Swords. Oh, I like this. Again, we have cuts upon the body. I know some people don't like seeing that. For me, that's not a huge issue. Our nine of swords we do have this kind of nightmarish thing going on and our ten very pip like again the old school daggers the page third eye open here the knight what what is okay what is happening hold on okay so I keep looking at this as the face. That is not. That is the shield. We have this black knight. So he's all in black armor. This is where the face should be. We have our air. This kind of dragon-like figure. But also has almost like a horse-like face and mane. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, our Queen of Swords looks very haunted. Again, another one that reminds me of Lady Macbeth. I don't know, maybe that's just my new association with the Queen of Swords is Lady Macbeth. Like, maybe that's just my new thing. It's been coming up over and over and over again. And, like, I never thought about it like that before. But I really think that that's my new association. Because, again, that's what I think of when I think of her. Because she seems like in a dreamlike state. There's blood dripping from her sword and her eyes. It's like she's just covered in this blood, but it doesn't seem real. Hmm. I don't know. <gasps> the King of Swords is a frog! Oh, I really like that. <laughs> I just like frogs, though. Oh, wow. We have these, like, almost cypress-looking trees in the background. Do you see that? I kind of dig that. <laughs> pentacles. Here we go. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. We got all kinds of really cool symbols coming here. We got fire and flame and dripping eye kind of coming in and taking a look at what's going on here okay we're getting down to the wire oh softly gently two of pentacles we got this big ship coming in got bones in the background 
A lot of two, two eyes here, two eyes here. This one does look like he's kind of being overtaken. Almost like it's going to take a lot more to balance this. You're really in turmoil is what it feels like for this one. Then we have the three. Again, okay, the crying babies are not for me. They're not for me. This four of pentacles is neat. What do we have in the background? Oh, we have New York in the background. We have New York. At least it looks like New York, if I'm wrong. Correct me. We have a penny. Hmm. It would be really beneficial to know what these artists are thinking. But you know, I find that a lot of times in collab decks, we don't get that. Can I just like, can I recommend that? Can that be a thing? Like if we have, like if you have a collab deck, can we just get a little blip about what the artist was thinking? Even if it's just like, I don't know, I thought this would have looked cool. Like that's okay, that's okay. I just wanna know, right? Like I just, I'm very curious. This five of pentacles, we have this like zombie thing going on. Things are getting burned down. Like, what is this, though? He's not a zombie. But she looks like she's holding a hand. We have the Six of Pentacles. Seven. Oh, so we have this almost, like, angelic figure here. With the eyes on all the wings. Like, all the mini-eyed winged creature and we have these bubbles but it's almost like the metatron's cube right hmm. oh this is pretty cool eight of pentacles that's really neat reminds me of like wartime stuff like um I want to say propaganda, but sort of, right? Oh, wow. What do we have here, Nine of Pentacles? Is this some sort of uh, mask on the face? She is holding a bird. All these coins around her. She's got this symbol that almost looks like a, like, it almost looks like a two, and then it almost looks like a seven, and then, but I don't know, is that a particular symbol that I'm not privy to? Again, I got lots of questions, you guys. I got lots of questions. Our ten of pentacles. Um, we have all of the... We have all the coins on the, like, the, um, arc, arched doorway. It looks like in the back, very similar, but we have lightning kind of coming out. Is this a, um, is this supposed to be maybe, like, a warrior? That's interesting. We have our page of pentacles. Hands up. Here. Our knight. Well, our queen. Almost like the idea of a queen. This almost looks like those um, veiled, like a veiled crown and one of the neck pieces. Ooh, our king of pentacles. Man, he seems very fiery. He reminds me of almost like a, a king of wands, really. But we have all of our wheat. Uh, is that a hammer? So I guess, yeah, he's kind of like doing, doing his work, doing his thing. There's like industry in the background. So I take it back. We have gold on one side, wheat on the other side. So that does represent that wealth. I think it's just the fire, this on fire, that I'm like, fire, it's wands. 
wow, you guys, what do y'all think of this? I'm curious. Let's pop this up just a little bit. Okay. Let's shuffle. I can shuffle now. I'm really excited. So let's see how this shuffles. Not too bad. And I'm sure now that we have everything kind of pried up, it's not going to be very hard. Now, these are big. These are big. Let's get, uh, let's snatch Mystic Masters right here. You can see. These are like Oracle size. Because they look like about like the 3 by 5 size. Or, you know, ish. That's what that kind of reminds me of. So let's see what the guidebook says. From what I glanced, it looks like, um... It looks like everything is just keywords, but we'll take a we'll take a look at the guidebook and see what that what that's doing. Okay, I, did you see that? I could not. <laughs> I could, oh my god, I could not. I yeah, we're just gonna pull on this. I couldn't do it. Okay, six of wands, six of wands, six of swords. I got myself all crazy. Okay. Oh, so it was a few artists. No, it was not. Just a few that were named by 77 world-renowned artists. So, no, there was. There were 77 different artists. Um, separate styles. Each artist involved in this project was randomly paired with a card instructed to visually communicate their interpretation of it with freedom from... For, from specific guidelines my mouth doesn't want to work um so what you have before you subsequently are 79 original conceptions of the tarot by these artists um each card communicates a series of levels literal humorous depictions um so yeah very basic. So we do get each artist. We get everyone's name. Uh, the layout. This was produced by CJ Starkey. Layout and design, Kevin Thompson. And um, CJ. Okay, so Six of Swords. Let's see what they say. So this was done by Chris Howell. Travel, recovery, heading to better horizons, and insight. So very basic. So I'm curious. I wonder if this was given to them as like the keywords. Like, hey, this is your card. These are your keywords. Do what you think. Very interesting. I wanted to see if there was any... If there's any... Artists that kind of jump out that sound familiar to me Mike Dorsey sounds familiar for some reason Mike Pace sounds familiar too Noodles. I don't know noodles, but that's a bomb name. <laughs> that is cool. Pretty cool, man. This is pretty neat. So let me go and let me know what you guys think. I my I don't know. There are some that I really, really like. My initial thought is like, probably not for me. Only because collaborative decks are hard. But I say that, and I really enjoyed the Fat Folks Tarot. And I will say that there is so much art in this deck 
that I do really like. And there are some that I just don't understand. I'm really bummed about that page of cups as well. But I mean, who is to know? Is it all bundled? And this was an older deck. So I don't even know if this is in print or if it's out of print or what the status is. So if I find out um, that it's, you know, still available, I'll definitely link it below. And if it is, I'll maybe even reach out and see, like, hey, uh, is there a way to get another copy of the Page of Cups? Um, if not, no big deal. Um, but yeah, I want to know what you guys think of this. Collaboration decks, like I said, are normally not, um, something that I read with regularly, or if they are, it's like I will pull one card. Um, just because I have trouble with, aesthetically speaking, like, looking at all these different styles, like, I couldn't do that. My brain won't do that. <laughs> it just won't do that. It's like, no, stop! Um, but, yeah. So, I, I ultimately think that there is some beautiful art. And it definitely deserves to be seen. Which is why I wanted to do this, like, tarot at first sight, you know, blind tarot, going in blind. Because I feel like, regardless if the deck is for me or not, um, you know, people worked really hard on this. And they put their heart and soul into producing these decks, and I feel like they should be shown. So especially the ones that, like, I've never heard of, I'm really, really excited to be able to do this with you guys. So let me know if this is something that you're going to really enjoy on the channel um yeah and let me know your thoughts on this do you have it have you ever heard of it i've legit never seen it anywhere so this was incredibly fun to do um so yeah leave me those comments below if you guys have any insight to the questions that i asked and um if you're looking for the deck i'm gonna go and look and see if i can find any information on it um and whatever i find i will definitely link down below um and if you're looking for me, all of those links are going to be down below as well. Um, so we will see each other very soon. Also, I will be having extra walkthroughs. Um, very casual, like, hey, let's kind of glance through this stuff um, on the Mystic Fam. So if you are interested, um, check out the Mystic Fam. I have that offer down below. Um, you can also find me on Instagram. That's where I normally hang out. Um, Etsy. Um, what else? We have three fat readers down below. Uh, don't forget to check that out. And I will talk to you all very soon. Um, uh, sending you all my love. Mwah! Later, Gators.